Good morning, January 3rd. Divine delays. Then it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. Exodus chapter 13, verse 17. Not a day goes by when our plans aren't changed by circumstances beyond our control. Natural disasters, house repairs or car trouble, unexpected illness, traffic jams on the freeway, a friend or neighbor with an emergency need, the list goes on. The question is, can we trust that God is in those unforeseen challenges? A rarely read verse in Exodus chapter 13, verse 17 tells how God led the newly freed Hebrew nation into the Sinai Desert instead of along the southeast coast of the Mediterranean Sea into the Promised Land. Why? So the Hebrews wouldn't encounter the Philistines who inhabited that region, be attacked, and return to Egypt for safety. The Hebrews grumbled loud and long about the Sinai sand and sun, but at least they were alive. If they had met the Philistines, many of them might have been slaughtered. The next time your path is changed unexpectedly, trust by faith that God is in it and that the change was for a good reason. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Hope is the foundation of patience. John Calvin. Good evening. A new beginning dawns. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Revelation chapter 21 verse 5. Today is a new day, a new opportunity presented to you by God. Yesterday, with all its disappointments and despair, belongs to the past. Do not look back. What is past is past. God is giving you a hope and a future. God, in his infinite grace, is granting you the opportunity to rectify those things that have gone wrong in your life. Learn from your failures and mistakes, from your weaknesses and defeats. You have a precious opportunity to start anew. Assured of Christ's forgiving love, you can learn from your past experiences and decide, from now on, to live in obedience to the Master's commands and walk in His ways. Turn to Christ and confess your weaknesses and shortcomings to Him. Open your heart for His Spirit to enter and take control of your life. Then face the future with confidence in the joyous knowledge that God is with you. If we allow Christ to make us new, we will handle life with maturity and we will experience the peace of God that transcends all understanding.